I'm all about automation. So today I'm gonna to share how I use ConvertKit's visual automations with my own passive income products. If you're a business owner and you're new here, I'd love for you to subscribe. I post weekly videos helping you save time and look good online, which is why today I'm gonna to help you save time with ConvertKit. Now there are two things that I am using to create this automation. The first is ConvertKit obviously. And the second thing is Easy Digital Downloads, which is a WordPress plugin that I use to sell my passive income products. So if you want to follow this example, you will need to install the free Easy Digital Downloads plugin and also purchase the ConvertKit add-on and install both of these plugins into your WordPress website. You'll see on the product download page, you can tag people once they buy your product, which we'll see here in just a little bit. So for my passive income automation in ConvertKit, I set up one form, two tags, and five sequences. I have two tags because one differentiates people who are already on my list, so they get a slightly different first sequence, and then the second tag helps filter people through the automation based on if or when they purchase. This is why you need the ConvertKit add-on for the plugin because when people buy, you can tag them in ConvertKit and that will change how they continue through the automation. The five email sequences I have are the first sequence for new subscribers, the first sequence for existing subscribers, a sequence for those who purchase in that first sequence, a sequence for those who don't purchase in the first sequence, and a final sequence for those who still have not purchased after the two email sequences. So just to recap the process of this automation, the user will sign up for my freebie, be added to their first sequence, depending on if they are already an existing subscriber or not. They'll be tagged in ConvertKit if they purchase. They'll be added to a second sequence. Those two are different depending on if they purchased or not. If they do purchase, they'll be tagged. And then they'll be sent a final sequence if they did not purchase. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.